Scott N asks, at what time do you start to see a return on your investment when using engagement views or video views? Well, that's a good question. So the answer is this. Again, it depends upon how long you've been doing it to the direct target audience that you're going after. It also hugely depends upon how consistent you are. So for example, if somebody was doing video um, views objective or engagement objective for a year, but they're only posting one time, they will never ever be successful because they need to be very, very consistent in their marketing efforts. So one of the hugest contributing factors, what we've seen in the success of local businesses and professionals is the fact that they are consistent about creating content and running ads behind the content that they're creating. The more that you create something organically that gets a lot of engagement and a lot of interest, then run an ad behind that, right? But what we're noticing is that because people are getting more and more distracted, their attention span is, is less and less, it takes a little bit longer than it used to. So for example, I've been teaching how to do this for almost three years now. And back when we used to start, we would say it took around 12 times for someone to see you. We found that around month three or so, people would start to see massive differences and changes in their business. But now three years later, fast forward, we're noticing that it takes anywhere from 17 to 33 times for someone to actually click or to show interest or engage with you on your content and that it's taking usually around this five to six month mark, as long as they were very, very consistent. But here's the thing about return on investment, especially with video um, advertising and utilizing the engagement objective and utilizing the video views objective. It's that you can't exactly always quantify. So for example, when you're, let's say in e-commerce or you're selling a physical product, you can actually tell you what your ROAS is. That stands for return on ad spend. You can see specifically, you know, when somebody downloads something. Now you can generate leads as a business or a professional, um, but if they're not specifically buying from you from Facebook, then it's difficult to say, to really, really quantify that. However, the fact that you start hearing things like, well, I see you everywhere and I love your videos and people come into your establishment, um, whether it's brick or mortar, or they start to work with you as a business or as a professional, and they're telling you that they're seeing your content everywhere, you know that your video marketing is working. Once you start hearing that, or your friends and family even start telling you, I'm seeing your videos everywhere, a lot more than usual, um, it's because it is working. And you won't always be able to like specifically say, well, this lead came from Facebook, and this lead, they downloaded this form, or they gave you their information there. It's not gonna be like that. It's basically gonna be the fact that you're gonna notice that your business starts to increase, your referral base starts to increase, that you start getting new customers, and it's because of the fact that they are seeing you as the go-to trusted resource, or tr the trusted authority figure, on a regular, consistent basis in your community because you're marketing to them and you're being that go-to trusted guide. So I hope that answers the question, Keith. And as always, everyone, we love the questions with Krista. So make sure that you ask us questions down below and we'll be sure to answer them on the next live questions with Krista. Hey there, I have a brand new podcast called Fired Up with Krista Mayshore, where I bring my high energy right to your ears. This podcast is available on all your favorite podcast platforms. So do me a favor, go subscribe and leave a review. All this information is free and I cannot wait to teach you everything I know. Thanks so much for watching my video. You can learn more about how to be a successful real estate professional by watching other videos that I have. And be sure to subscribe to my channel. And as always, make it a great home selling and buying day.